it's just always a bit of fun going out with with Suxy. I think he's lovely. He's got a huge fan club. He's uh, a right little little character, like a little old man. I love him. I think he's a lovely little lad. I mean, Twilight. I sit with him, and he's gorgeous. I don't know. Just a big character in a in a little body. I think. One of the biggest misconceptions there is about Staffies is that they're your big, tough, rough dog that's very aggressive, very nasty. Probably the most difficult dogs we've had in over the years have been Yorkshire Terriers. And I've had my hands badly bitten by Yorkshire Terriers over the year, but I've never had a Staffie that wanted to bite me. They get bad press and it's it's not fair because we'll be home so many Staffies and most shelters are full of Staffies. Never anything wrong with the dogs. It's just the people who've got them, that's the problem. They do love their home comforts. They do love human contact. And as I say, if they can be upside down in front of the fire having their tummy tickled, then that's great. One dog that I've been taking for a long time, and we know he's, he won't get a home because he's, he's not the best. He's a little stuffy called Suggs. Suggs has been in about three years. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think his background was his owner had became homeless, I believe, and had to give up Suggs. And once the lad was settled in a new home, he was going to come back and take Suggs, but that never happened. What we normally do is go along to his kennel, say hello to Lennox first, because he gets upset if you don't say hello to him. Um, we go on to the, the kennel with, with Suggsy, um, he likes to have a play for five minutes first and to lick your face and to lick your ears and uh, uh, lots of other things. <laughs> um, and then he gets his favourite bit of chicken because that's the only way you can catch him to get his, his lead on. Mm -hmm. um, and once you've got him on his lead, you can slip the muzzle on in about three seconds. And then um, we go out, he waits in the corridor with me, with my wife. Um, and I'll go and get Joe. And, uh, and then they just toddle off into the sunrise together. Suggs has, since he came in, has uh, never particularly got on with other, other dogs. Um, although he's fine with Joe, who's the softest dog in the refuge, Jelly Legs Joe. Joe is a dog that is terrified of life. Mm. And when he's out with Suggs, as he's minder, he's so much more confident and that is a real plus for Joe that's made a real difference and that's something nice for Suggs as well. Suggs doesn't go for a swim, he goes for a sink. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, most staffies are, either don't like the water or they are uh, excellent in the water and they like to splash around. Uh, but Suggs falls in the middle. He likes the water but he's no good at swimming. Um, I, I guess the first time we went out with uh, Joe and Suggs together uh, Joe quite likes the water, so and Suggs hadn't been in the water beforehand. Um, so Joe went in, and Joe's about three times taller than Suggs, and Suggs just followed him, and um, Suggs went for a sink. That was the first day. That was when his head was underneath. He looked like a little crocodile. You know how crocodiles swim with just the heads mm -hmm. on the top and a little bit of the back? Um, and his eyes were wide open because he was on his tippy toes on the bottom of the, uh, of the pond. And uh, it was the first time I've seen fear in Suggs' eyes. <laughs> but now he knows where the pond, where the, uh, the limits of the pond is, so he doesn't uh, he do that. When he comes back, he likes his digestive biscuit first, followed by custard cream, um, followed by his sausage, which if it's me, it's quartered. If it's my wife, it's fifth for some reason. I think he thinks he's getting more of her. He's a bit on there portly side but because I think he gets well looked after here and we spoil him a bit you know but he's an older dog and he you know he's not in a home and you kind of help but spoil him a bit so uh, he's just such a lovely dog he's friendly when I go into the kennel uh, he, he runs away and he gets his uh, pull a pull or a, a, a raggy or something for about five minutes tug him and pulling things around but he's still got plenty of life in him I can't see, to be honest with you, why anybody would think he was so hard to rehome because if you just knew 
that every time he took him for a walk, he had his muzzle and he had a garden or something in a house where he wasn't muzzled, you know, he'd be, he'd be fine. It's just, he's got one problem, one issue. All right, he's a psychopath, but you know, <laughs> he's got one problem, one issue. And, um, and that's all. Because he loves people, he loves children, he takes his gentle, he takes his treats gentle, he likes to play. And he's 12 coming up. You know, it's going to slow down. It's not like it's going to be really difficult to rehome. To be honest, in the time that we've had him, we haven't had any genuine inquiries about him, which is sad. Mm. You know, it is sad, but I think now, he's 12 years old now, he's got a couple of health problems, and that's not mentioning any weight. Um, I think now we will be the home for the rest of his life now. He'll probably maybe see his day out living here with us, but we'll try and make his little room cosy, like a sitting room sort of thing. But he just craves attention, like company, um, and that's when he's at his most happiest, you know. Yeah, you know, this is his home, and if the right person did come along, that would be fantastic, but I don't know. He's, he's just a beautiful, beautiful dog. Um, and I just hope and pray that one day that special, extra special person will come along and, and give him a loving kind home. Um, although lots of lots of people will be upset <laughs> not seeing him again, but you've got to think of him and that's the, the, the thing that you want is for him to get a, a lovely home because although he is king of the kennels here, um, mm and they do a great great job you want them to have a, a home because that's the best for him you've got to think of him <laughs>